what they don't talk about, folks, because basically in 2008, proceeds this here, okay, usually in July 17th to 24th, okay, and also in 2011, they were worried about it. So then at certain hidden little NASA science news things, okay, they're starting to talk about the truth, okay. Uh, I don't care about this. I mean, if it is, it's human. It's going to be the same brains or what the people are looking for or something like that. So I really don't think there is. But if there is the other side, then it's the other side of us out there somewhere. Okay? Human intelligence, folks. I mean, your intelligence knows that it's going to have to be something smart or smarter than us. And hopefully stupider than us, okay? Okay, so. Uh, tiny star, uh, January 11th. There's all of a sudden talking about uh, that'd be a long ways out. We've already been hearing talk about that. That's kind of old news. Remember the space with the snow thing? We all know about that. And what's really unusual. Now, I know it snows in Japan, but it's snowing low in Japan. Okay? Way low and a hell of amounts. Okay? We know in certain high areas in Turkey it also snows, but not in the low areas. Okay? So we're getting crazy weather. Okay? and then it's snowing in the desert, okay? Very, very rare, okay? In Algiers, snowing, okay? Oh, it's good. And see how they try to write it off? Oh, it's good because it kills the insects in the... So God's killing the insects in the palm trees, I guess, in the desert, okay? Because that's what they ended up saying. I remember reading it, that it was a good thing. Oh, well, that's what they said. So, and then Seattle, Washington is getting a lot more lower snow. Uh, M3 class, you know that. I keep you informed on all that's going on in the sun. And then the volcano action, we know that like crazy. And there's like seven in Guatemala that are hot. And then four people getting hit by lightning and look at the lightning. Somebody actually even took a picture. I don't know if that's concurrent with the story over in Australia. Really crazy weather in Australia and the Australians are on emailing me like crazy like God, please keep telling everybody that this stuff's crazy and that's why the Marines went to Australia because everybody's up in arms down there in a sense. I, you know, when's the last time you seen somebody reporting from Australia in the public with everything going on? They're seeing the stuff in the sky like crazy down there and Everybody's trying to hush them up. So the Queen gets U.S. Marines to keep the British people hushed. And then we have this thing that they're starting to talk about the solar wind and there being corpses. Okay. So they know that this stuff's probably going to hit something somewhere. Okay. So then we get back to this factuality here. Hang on a minute. Check old picture out from Fireball when this thing comes around, one of these. And I don't get to see a date, but that is, I believe, from the Mexico sky. Okay? And there's a read more and everything like that. We click on that, and it'll give us the information. And basically what they're saying is preparing for meteor showers in 2011, okay? Which would have been the fall, and so forth and so on. And then there's an address to check on. Uh, actually, that one didn't go to where I wanted to go because I had the screen blown up too much. But read more. And it takes us to space.com. I like these guys, they show us a lot of stuff too. Basically, the NASA announcing that that satellite hooked up when it was supposed to hook up. So then you get to see how far behind because we all kind of know that in the fall every year they get. Uh, meteor showers, okay? So all this stuff that we will still see around now is going to be from new, that's right folks, new stuff, okay? It's not going to be what from this and what the other information I just gave you from what they already know, okay? Yes, yeah, moving at 44,700 miles an hour. Not this, but other stuff. So last night on the 21st, they ended up getting this. And then, as you see, this is marked, and also this one. But this one was 5 IU out, this here comet there. And then this comet here, 
and they always say asteroid, but that, that damn far away, this is 32 IU out, the goddamn comet, they're all comets, okay? So, are those the ones that we see? I mean, we, they, we ask, we're watching asteroids, well, they're goddamn comets, and a, a comet is a dying star, an asteroid, comet, same goddamn thing. It's real tiny if it's an asteroid, it's around, but there's asteroid belts, it's comets and stars, okay, as long as they're not falling. Now, what I showed you on the earlier video today, those look like new comets that I found, okay, up off the Soho shots. And let me show you the German maps for better, okay, because this is a German mainframe that I always talk to. So basically, Scandinavian, Norwegian, yes, Deutschland, okay. So basically what we have is you'll end up seeing, and we got Jupiter tonight, and we got Mars, Okay, and then let me show you the difference here could real fast because I'm going to go back to what I originally looked up was when I was first looking at this was earlier and you'll see how it moves, okay? So basically, they give you, when they give you their NASA one, I'm going to show you their NASA map that they show you and really quick look how this matched up and on. If you back up the tape, you'll see this was farther over, over here because this is later on in the evening and they always give you late evening so if you're looking in the early evening you're going to end up seeing which would have been this constellation right here and I think it's I think it's Pisces but I'm not sure but you see uh, earlier in the evening they give you give it to you and it's around the side over here because you gotta watch. Actually, they updated this one because earlier I was correct on that, and now they have updated this. Okay, so this is more for the later evening because Hagley's and everything was here, and then that constellation wasn't around the corner yet. So actually, this is ahead again because this is going to be what would be up later tonight. Another couple hours, maybe, is what this will be. You'll be looking at. And basically, what they still have up on the shots that they're showing, when they say live, sometimes I don't believe they're being live, because there is Venus. I mean, uh, Jupiter, sorry, Jupiter, biggest thing you're ever going to see. And it's dark because it's not getting illuminated by the moon because we don't have the moon tonight. Okay? And then this is Mars. I've already figured it up. What did I say? Was it Mercury or Mars? It is Mars, yep. Yeah. So when you see that, you got Mars, and Mars is right there because it's below the Big Dipper and directly down on that corner star there, directly down is Mars. That's Mars. If that's not Mars, then that dark shadow is Mars. And that's what's very interesting is the dark shadow there, too, on that. And then I can blow that up at the 200 because that's as big as I can get that. As you can see, there's a darkness above Mars. Now, maybe that is flipping Mars right there. And maybe that's not Mars. That's part of the constellation, but no matter what, it should be the direct line. It's one of anything that's in a direct line directly below the Big Dipper there on that star there, because I'll show you on this that the Big Dipper is right there and it directly has to be proportional directly down. So, you can take a pick on that one, and we know that's uh, Jupiter for damn sure. So, there's what you the idea of how big Jupiter will look in the sky, the Mexico sky tonight, and then. Uh, I don't know what looks better, and that doesn't change the screen, so that was the same shot. You go to where this one is, then we end up seeing that, which is interesting, okay? Because that's in the night sky over at Tullahoma. So that might be part of uh, our other, the super giants and right, and we also have a V action of some sort there also, too, you can see. So that's very interesting. So let's look into the constellation there again real fast. No one with the Big Dipper's at and so forth. Something like that. Out of Leonis. And that makes sense because everything we've been seeing is out of the supergiants. Leonis, Frigel, uh, I could say the name better if I go back and click in here and get to the map. Bellatrix, Tegelius, Frigel. So, uh, Regulus, so 
Arcturus is basically what you're seeing there on the Tullahoma. That's a good shot from the Tullahoma on Arcturus there. Let's get to put that back again. I don't know which one I was on on Tullahoma. I can uh, get rid of those there. No, it's not that one. I'm really not much of all the interesting stuff there. Are you looking at on Chickamauga? I apologize if I say it wrong. Chickamauga. How they say it, Chickamauga. I think I've heard East Coasters say. So that's very interesting there. A triangulation over there, which would be by Mars, more than likely. Now, I would think that more than likely that's probably Mars. Because the idea that what we've been seeing with the illumination of the CME action, with that, and check this out, we get these dark constellations are up and showing up in the middle of the night. So these asteroid belts that have been around lately are giving us very unique dark stars, folks. I mean, there's dark stars up in the sky right now tonight, okay? Clear sky, dark stars in the night sky, okay? So, very unique. Next go, we got Stupid for Serling, and that's Rigel, Beatrix, uh, Tegavis, and so forth. And so Long Ionis is more than likely that's the head of Leonis there. That's a yep, that's Leonis right there. You can't miss it. That's Leonis right there. Okay. Matches up right there. I'll show you what Leonis looks like. That's Leonis. I know that enough, but that's Leonis and then that that should be uh Mars directly under Leonis. So popping back in. That's Mars. So then I've corrected myself. So we know that that's Mars. That's Mars right there on the Mexico sky. And there is uh, Jupiter, but what's really unusual is, yep, okay, later on, yeah, it's lower, okay, than when it is earlier, okay, and on the earlier map, uh, Mars was fire, okay, so right now, that is Mars lower, and we've got it all picked out of Mexico skies. Mexico skies are a very good place to be looking. Leonis, Rigel. And I've showed you on Arcturus before, and basically you're going to see what comes up in uh, the sky over in that's the supergiants, and what I've proved to you before that the idea that's what comes up over in Hawaii, part of the supergiants action. Basically, very much more out in front, and as I way you've seen all that supergiant stuff move away, and that it's it there on that's it right there. That's Arcturus. And this is what's coming up in the sky over in the east, because this is east there. That is east, and it'll match on this map. That's east, and more than likely that uh, is it right here. And this is what's coming up. That right there is Ar Arcturus. Arcturus, and going to the map on their map, on NASA's map, and that's what's coming up in Hawaii. That's what's flipping coming up in Hawaii. See, East Coast, that's what's coming up in Hawaii, folks. Arcturus, that's what's coming up in Hawaii, right there. The biggest thing, big and bright, in the supergiants. So, We'll be able to watch the Hawaii stuff tomorrow and make a video on that. And you might even not even know that I had this video up until tomorrow. Just was up late tonight. And Arcturus is way the, way the hell out. I think we just see the distance on it. Basically, it's 36.67 light years out, so everything is cool. But since it's one, it's point one mass bigger than the sun, then it looks seems to be hella bright. Okay. We should be able to see what time and see. That's what's coming up in Hawaii. Remember, this is Central Standard Time, and it's, it's rise and it's set, okay? But the idea that somewhere between that time, it gets closest to Earth and gives us that sunshine, makes it look like it's coming up in Hawaii, which it basically is, but it's way the hell out, okay? It's that damn many light years away, folks, okay? 36.67, and it is a supergiant. And that is what's coming up in Hawaii.
Bye, Super Giant Sun.